Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and uh, welcome to another music collection update. Um, I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to get right into it. So, first up, uh, on CD, I have the first three Pantera album uh, albums right here. Um, now, if you guys are wondering why I don't have the fourth album in this collection, is because I already own that one, as you can see. Um... But yeah, uh, I, I have listened to these before, so uh, um, I will definitely do a review on uh, um, each of them, uh, probably within the next week or so, um, but yeah, and uh, it, it, uh, Metal Magic, uh, Projects in the Jungle, and I Am the Night. Alright, now for the vinyl. First up is a album by a band I've never heard of before, uh, and that's Hex. Um, this album apparently is a double feature. Uh, it has the uh, full-length album as well as a EP. Um, but yeah, haven't heard of these haven't heard of these guys before, but uh, definitely eager to check this album out. Shit, hold on. I do really hate two-part gatefolds. Because here's uh, a little sort of side rant, I guess. But uh, uh, two-part gatefolds, not very good. If it's a three-part gatefold, for some reason, it works fine. But yeah, two-part gatefolds, sometimes they just do not work right. Um, but yeah. Anyway, enough with the rambling. Um, the next thing, um, is the first Overkill album. Um, I already own the second album, and I absolutely love that album. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go back and uh, check out their first album as well. Um, but yeah, there's also, yes, there is a piece of tape right here. Uh, even though I bought this, you know, new off-store shelves, you know, I went to my local record shop. Uh, even though it was brand new, it already had a tear on the top right here. It already had a tear on the case. Uh, so yeah, I just had to tape over it so the tear didn't, you know, get any bigger. Um, but yeah. Alright, next up. Next up is the, uh, uh... I don't know what it is. I know it's called Death Execution. Uh, of course, it's by the band Morbid. Um, but I don't really know anything else about it. I know... Yeah, I don't know anything else about it other than the name. I don't know whether this is an EP or a live album or a compilation album. Uh, but I'll figure it out when I actually uh, listen to it. Uh, also, something very odd. You would think that this is the front of the thing. But no, it's the back. This is the front. See, I made that mistake when I tried to, you know, pull out the vinyl, you know, uh, to see if it was okay, you know, because it, this had been in, uh, this had been shipped months ago and was, for some reasons, you know, uh, didn't arrive until, you know, today, so I, you know, just checked to see if the vinyl was okay, but yeah, it's, it's, it was okay, but uh, what caught me off guard was uh, me thinking this was the front, so I thought the slit uh, for the to the vinyl to come out was on this side, but it's actually on this side. So, yeah, apparently this is the front and this is the back. Kind of bizarre. But, uh, yeah, there's that. And then, um, I finally, finally got uh, Year of the Goat on vinyl. Also another morbid release. Um, uh, this one is on a gold vinyl. Uh, and this is the three, a three-part gatefold with triple vinyl. So, again, like I said before, for whatever reason... Uh, standard gatefold, the two the two flaps, uh, very very uh, shittily made for some reason. Like every like the vinyl and stuff always gets stuck in, um, on the uh, thing. Uh, but three part gatefolds, you know, for some reason actually work fine. Like they don't, you know, they don't have any like problems like the standard gatefold. Um, but yeah. Uh, very good. Finally got this on vinyl, and I'm so happy that I did. Another thing that I had to wait, like, uh, a couple months to arrive for some reason. 
Uh, but yeah. Alright, so that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.